Greetings everyone, my name is Jatin Lakshman Rathod. I am a third year student of Bharti Vidyapit College of Hotel and Tourism Management Studies. So today I am going to give you a presentation on the topic which is GI Tags of Uttar Pradesh. First of all, what is GI Tag? A geographical indication is a sign used on products that have a specific geographical origin and ensures good qualities of reputation in the region. GI Tags are issued as per geographical indication of goods. This tag is issued by the Geographical Indication Registry under the Department of Industry, Promotion and Internet Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Currently, there are 300 GI tags in India, out of which 40 are in Uttar Pradesh. As mentioned in the above table, currently Uttar Pradesh has handicraft and agricultural GI tags. We are going to observe five handicraft GI tags of Uttar Pradesh. So first one is Gorakhpur Terracotta. Gorakhpur Terracotta is an age-old craft of Gorakhpur region and it is largely spread over the villages of Padri Bazar, Belwa, Raipur, Jungle Okla, number no. 1, Jungle Okla, number no. 2, in Chargavan Block, etc. Some of the major products of craftsmanship include animal motifs like elephant table, horda elephants, deer, camel, etc. For the religious idols like five-faced Ganesha, single-faced Ganesha, Musical group of humans and Ganesha are also quite common. And the second one is Gazipur wall hangings. Gazipur wall hangings are interior decor items that are handcrafted in small city of Gazipur in Uttar Pradesh. These traditional handloom products were woven by skilled craftspeople with the help of simple sketch diagrams and involves techniques like hand woven in feet loom, wrapping and embroidery, and pasting work. Third one is handmade carpet of Bhadohi. This type of hand knotted carpet is manufactured on the vertical wooden loom by a unique weaving technique with the use of knots, iron, punja. Thick cotton and woolen yarns are used in the wrap ends while wool is used in the width direction. Fourth one is Varanasi soft stone jali work. With the support of King of Varanasi, this jali work craft emerged around the Ramnagar fourth area. Today, the fourth generation craftsmen are working here. The artisans mostly belong to SC and OBC caste. They make them in accordance with their own perspective of history and mythology. The fifth and the last one is Varanasi glass beads. Varanasi is the oldest glass bead manufacturing herb in modern India since 1940. It has the largest glass bead exports from India and has biggest number of skilled artisans for the same. Archaeological findings indicate that 2,000 years old glass making evidence have been found near Basti and that by 1000 BC glass bead making started in northern India. And the major products include here are earrings, bracelets and neck pieces made out of multicolored glass beads. So with this I conclude my video presentation here. Thank you.